really to create more of a foundational baseline for myself where I can create really great habits. It is way gonna... beyond the moon. Anyways, comments below, who's right? <clears throat> What's going on, Summer Chasers? What's going on? I always do that. What's going on? What's going on, Summit Chasers, and welcome to a week in review with the Summit crew. That's Yay! Oh, what? Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna call this video, but I'm keeping that in. Uh, but we do have some announcements that we wanted to fill you in on, and then we wanted to do a little bit of a recap. Of it's been like what eight days in 2024. Yep. So we are pretty much 2024 pros now. So we want to see a little bit of what kind of goals that we had coming into 2024, how our weeks went, and provide a little bit of insight into some of our goal setting that we went through, that we went over mm -hmm. on our very fun, exciting New Year's Eve. evening. Yeah. New Year's Eve evening. So we'll start with some announcements. Uh, we have a new podcast, and I will let the host of that podcast explain what it is. Hi, hello, I'm your host, Audrina. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm launching the another segment of our Summit Chasers podcast, which is going to be called Voices of Impact. And I'm very, very excited for this show. We are going to be interviewing people every single week who are really just making a huge impact in their world, in their space. And I'm really excited for some of those conversations. They're going to be pretty candid and uplifting and give you insight into some of these amazing people who are making changes. That is going to be launching on Monday, January 22nd, and will come out every single week on Mondays. I love it. I love it. I love the premise of it. Voices yeah. of Impact. That's, uh, I can't remember who it was. It might have been like a Hermosi. I can't remember who it was. But the, the question was, like, how do you measure success and or something like that? And he said, well, it's how many people show up to your funeral when you die. No, I'm getting to the point. Don't worry. Because <laughs> it's all based on, like, the footprint that you leave. Mm -hmm. Your success, ultimately, when you're gone, is based on how many people you impact. Yeah. So it, we always think of when we get into these communities and our inner circles and networks and the masterminds and that kind of stuff, we always think, no matter what, we always think, okay, what can I get from this? Where we should be thinking, okay, what can I give back? What kind of impact, what kind of value can I give? So I think that that's a really cool premise and some really cool people, really, really cool, really inspiring people that we have lined up mm -hmm. for that one. So I'm very excited for that one. Uh, that'll be every Monday, yep. starting on the 22nd. And then we have our Summit Chasers podcast, the kind of the mainstay. is not the mainstay, what does he call it? Like the... The main, the, the foundation, po I don't know what it's yeah, called. Sure. The other yeah, one, sure. the other podcast, the, the, <laughs> the, the Summit Chasers podcast. Uh, we landed on Thursdays and Sundays. That That's going to be going out consistently. Um, we tested some stuff out at the beginning, kind of went all over the place, and we just kind of found that those are the best days for, for that podcast. So Thursdays and Sundays. And we're going to do Q&As every other Saturday, mm -hmm. starting next Saturday. So we're going to try to keep those Q&As a little bit more personable yeah um, casual casual lifestyle questions personal questions that kind of stuff um we put out a lot of other content and especially in our podcasts and we're, our work with our clients a lot of like specifics like how to run and scale a business sales marketing leadership building teams that kind of stuff um so we want the q a's there will be a lot of that in the q a's we want it to be a little bit more mixed with some personality mm -hmm. give it some character so it'll be every other saturday and then we have some educational content that's going to re be released in the form of kind of small or short to medium form videos every other week. And the first one will be next week, the days that we are going to be launching that one. We're not sure yet. So just uh, turn the notifications on and then you'll know just as much as we do. And subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Do all the things. Yeah. We don't mean to be giving you homework because we already know you're busy, but do all those things. Um <laughs> But that's all the announcements, I think. Yeah, announce? that's it. Beautiful. So let's move on to uh, New Year. New Year planning. So what? Uh, give everybody some of your goals that you set for yourself, personal goals that you set for yourself in 2024. Sure. Um, so some of my personal goals going into this year, I would say that actually there's two words that that encompass what I'm going for in 2024. 
and that would be sustainability and consistency. Um, I think a lot of people, I don't want to speak for people, but I, I know I myself, when the new year comes, I'm like, hey, new year, new me, right? We all, I think a lot of us have been through it. Um, and I'm trying to avoid that this year and instead go into the approach of what can I do that's going to be sustainable and consistent in all aspects. So in developing our business, in personal development and growth, and then in health and fitness are kind of my three main buckets, if you will, that I want to be focusing on sustainability and consistency in. So new approach for me this year, I usually am one that's like, let me do like a six week challenge to kick things off or a 30 day this. And I just, I'm ready for really to create more of a foundational baseline for myself where I can create really great habits that are going to carry me on throughout the year so that I can actually achieve the things that I want to achieve. Yeah, no, I think that, I think that's a good point. A lot of people, they do that, like whether it's 75 hard or mm -hmm. six weeks challenge, 30 day yeah. challenge, whatever it is, 21 day challenge. And then that's insinuating that there's an end right. to it. Like this is, this is an infinite game that we're playing Yeah. in li 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 life. Life. Life <laughs> is not infinite, but right. we should be playing it as if it was infinitely. So if we want to, you know, improve our health, right, we shouldn't pick a plan that, you know, forces us to lose 15 pounds in 30 days, mm -hmm. we should pick a plan that we can sustain with over a long period of time right. indefinitely. Right. Like if you, and that's the same thing when we're talking with like business owners, mm -hmm. when they come up with their business plan for 2024, the next three years, the next five years, their BHAG, um, sometimes the way they, they come up with the plan in order to achieve those things, it's just to achieve the goal. The it's thing. not to right. set it up to set themselves up, their business up, and the people in their business up, and it's, it's structure to be able to support and sustain that. Yeah. So if you, back to like, you know, the weight loss thing, so if you're... It's easy to relate and understand. It was all the time. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say you want to lose 15 pounds, and you do this 30-day challenge, you know, and you starve yourself, you're you know, you're not sleeping very well and you're going you're to sauna. in the saunas. gym six days a week yeah, in the sauna. You're doing the most. You're beating yourself up. It's just yeah. not sustainable. So you're actually you're setting yourself up to fall back even more because you didn't set up the habits, right? It's mm -hmm. very unsustainable. And a lot of times when we go to one extreme, like we're, whether we think we are or not, we're usually, we're creatures of balance. If you go one extreme this way, to we always course correct. So you go to the extreme the other way. And your bodies are messed up, you know, your metabolism slows down, and then all of a sudden you gain even more weight back, and you're more unhealthy. Um, same thing, very similar with business. If you, okay, we want to increase our revenue by a million dollars this year, easy math, and then you just do what you need to do to increase your revenue by jacking up sales, dumping a bunch of money in marketing, but then you're not focused on your product or your service or the people or the structure. Or, or the ability to fulfill if you have jacked up your sales and then what about that mm -hmm. the people who are actually fulfilling on your product or your service do you have enough to be able to meet those demands so you're not able to have the longevity there mm -hmm. and then let's say that happens and you aren't able to fulfill mm -hmm. all of a sudden you have a million negative reviews not a million but you have a lot more negative reviews in, yeah. in a small business that's your lifeblood and then all of a sudden you know you're, you're, you're backwards you have people you start going backwards you have people on your team who are like, I'm sick of this. Like, this is annoying. I want to be part of something better than this. And then you have good people that starting to leave and the quality of your product goes and you have vendors that don't want to do work with you anymore. You have clients that are not referring people anymore. And all of a sudden your marketing spend goes way up and like, and you fall back. So similar to the health mm -hmm. um, metaphor example, it, you just, you fall back worse than where you were and you actually, you set yourself up to completely fail. Yeah. And I mean, if you don't learn from it, then you fail. But if you learn from it, then you can improve and, and do it again. But it's the same thing. You have to set up that foundation to support future growth. And you have to become the person, too. Mm -hmm. Like, whether you're, if you're somebody who wants to have a six pack, you identify and act like, have the characteristics and habits as a person who has a six pack right. and live the life of somebody who is healthy, mm -hmm. who would deserve a six pack. If you want to be a business owner of a $100 million business, you have to create the skills, the habits, the characteristics to be the person who could lead a $100 million company. Right. That is the foundation. Yeah, right. I think one thing that we've talked about is getting away from the goal, the thing being the goal, and instead the goal should actually be the person that you're becoming along the way and the habits that you're acquiring and, and 
the skills that you're learning. That should really be our goal is to become the person who can do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, because then even if you don't hit that goal, you're set up so much better for future success and mm-hmm. to be able to pivot to do something else because you've developed the characteristics and skills yeah, and network, so on and so forth, in order to achieve that thing. And even if you just come shy of it, you're just you're, you're so much further ahead. Yeah. So much further ahead. And it's the same thing with again health and fitness. If you create the habits and the eating habits and the health, like you're going to bed on time, taking care of yourself, all that kind of stuff, you're getting enough fluids in you, um, and you don't lose ten pounds, you only lose eight. Well, that's fine because now you have right. you're healthier. You're probably thinking clearer. You probably have different, better relationships at that point. Like you're just a leveled up human, even if you didn't hit that specific yeah. thing. It's like that quote, what is it? Um, if you shoot for the moon and fail, at least you still land in the stars. No, if is you that... shoot for the stars. Oh, no, if you shoot for the moon. No, if you shoot for the stars, no. you miss, you land on the moon. No, it's de- it's literally on my bookmark. Hold on. About to prove it's, this, this right is gonna now. Be, this is this gonna is be great. This is so great. This is gonna be great. Are you ready? Who's right? Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss it, you will land among the stars by less. See, brown. that doesn't make any sense. Thank you so much. That doesn't make any sense because oh, the that stars. Felt good. The no, stars, that felt really good. <laughs> I've always Go heard it if you shoot for the stars because the no, stars you shoot are beyond. For the moon. But listen, and hold you on here. In the in the comments, who's right here? I don't care what the bookmark said. Because <laughs> yeah. stars are beyond the moon. Stars are past the moon. So if you shoot for the stars and you miss, at least you landed on the moon. No. That makes more sense. No. The bookmark, I get what the bookmark said, but what I just said makes more sense. I disagree. I like if you shoot for the moon. But that doesn't make any sense. the moon is such like a target, right? Like we wanted to land on the moon in whatever year that was. No, we shoot for the stars. (laughs) If you miss, at least you landed on the moon. That makes way more sense. Because the stars are beyond the moon. If you miss the moon, you just fall back down to earth. No. You land on a cloud? No. You land in the stars. The stars are beyond the moon. Are they though? Yeah, <laughs> well, they are for sure. Like our sun is a star; it is way beyond the moon. Anyways, comments below. Who's right, me or Adrena? Is it shoot for the stars, and if you miss, at least you land on the moon? Or please, is it? Please vote for me. Or is it? <laughs> Don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> what do you think? And we're back six hours later. I think I won the argument, but I'll let you guys decide. I think I was right. We can't pick this up again. Yeah, we let's can. Just, let's roll on here. Let's move on. Yeah. Um, so you talked about your 2024 goals, yes. personal 2024 goals. Mm-hmm. I guess it's my turn. Um, mine are similar, the consistency part, uh, p- particularly in my health. I found myself this year holding myself back a lot in my health and fitness. So I used to be... Well, my last sport that I was a professional athlete in was strongman. I competed in strongman. So I was a very big guy, and I have tattoos and that kind of stuff. So when I would get up on stages and I was speaking to, like, whether it was, like, businesses or conventions or associations or whatever it was, the feedback I'd always get when I'd come off stage was, man, you look great, or you're jacked, or how did you get that big? It had nothing to do with what I was the point I was trying to get across so in my head I was always like is this all they're seeing Mm. because when you're on stage and if you've seen keynotes or speeches or even if you've been to movies or whatever before you pick up on the weirdest things the weirdest things kind of stick out to you and almost overshadow yeah the main points like you can go to a movie and it's a great most for the most part it's a great movie but there was like a weird part where like the CGI looked weird Mm. or like like a line was like kind of funky or was cheesy or something like that. Yeah. And then that. For whatever reason, I feel like our brains are kind of programmed to to pick out things like that. Oh, well, it is. That's, right. our, our brains are literally designed to find anomalies, like mm-hmm. things that don't fit. Like our brains are fascinating, but they're super lazy. But like we, we're technically prey animals. So our brains are designed to like find the danger, mm-hmm. find the things that's, that's different. So that like that kind of stuff sticks out. So I always I thought in my head I was like, well, if I just maybe if I got in less shape, <laughs> I would they wouldn't focus on it as much, and I could get my point across. But that was just silly. It's just off brand, mm. silly. It's short sighted thinking, and I, I learned that lesson. Um, so that's going to be one of the big things for me is consistency around my health, especially this year. But then consistency in that twenty mile march, that mm-hmm. daily. What do you do every day? 
the activities that no matter what you do every day, you know, it could be reading a certain amount of pages. It could be, you know, watching a certain amount of educational YouTube videos. It could be, um, if you're in sales, it could be how many um, cold calls are you making? How many uh, points of contact do you have a day? Um, whatever it is, it's, no matter what you do those things every day, you check it off a list and it's the same list and you check it off every day. Yeah. Um, is to be really, really consistent with those those two things. So that's that's ours. Consistency is key. Yes. It's probably, we, we, we should say that a lot. Probably should hear that a lot. Consistency is right. Consistency is everything. Mm-hmm. But I don't think the importance of it is even stated enough. Yeah. In anything that you do, like the best. Even the best health plan or the best fitness plan that you follow is one that you do consistently. Right. It doesn't. Yeah. Exactly. The best business plan is well, maybe not, but one of the the better business plan is the one that you actually follow through with mm-hmm. and and uh, you know create the strategy consistently to to achieve. So consistency is everything. So that's that's going to be that's going to be ours. But business wise, what do we have planned? What does Summit Chasers have planned oh, for twenty twenty four? We've got a lot planned for twenty twenty four. We've got a lot. Yeah. Plan for 2024. Um, and probably the biggest one that we have planned for 2024 is. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. We release new content all the time. Comment down below all your takeaways, feedback, or any questions that you may have for us. We can't wait to see you in the next one.